Do you think out-of-body experiences really happen? Have you or anyone you know had one? Um, I'm quite partial to in-body experiences. Um, but yeah, I think they, they... There's too many reports of that um, for them not to be plausible. Uh, and having spent time with with someone who was a guy called Joe McMonagall, who was hired by, hired by the American government to have those experiences and gather data from them for which he was given medals. Um, I find it hard to not believe that. I don't really believe it, but I had a friend in school that was telling me a story that he could uh, fall asleep and project himself and go into another room and like they were experimenting that he would say, oh, there's like four matches on a table, whereas he didn't know how many matches were there. So, but we're kids, so that's on I've never had one, but I've had one person say, oh, wait, oh, I had like an out body thing when they had like, they weren't in a coma, they just sort of passed out for a bit. Um, that was that was years and years and years ago. Personally, I don't know if I believe in it and I've never experienced one, but I suppose it can happen to some people. Um. Yeah, um, I mean, for me, my out body experience happened when, so I was like jumping off a pier down in, in Devon and I, I jumped off this pier and there was a, um, so like the pier goes down like that, but that underneath the seawater, there was a ledge that stuck out from the, I think under the water line that I couldn't see. And I decided to sort of like pencil dive. And then like, as I kind of like, my back sort of brushed the coral as I jumped down and, um, yeah, I just had like a like a, a moment where I could feel it brushing against my back, and I was kind of like, I don't know, I, I, it was like an out of body experience. Where I was like, that's so lucky that I could have either died or been paralysed, or yeah. So, um, yes, I know of someone who did have an out of body experience. Um, it was a friend of mine. She said that she was in hospital one time. And um, I think um, she says that when she was put to sleep, that she could see herself. Um, well, she was practically floating uh, from the ceiling and she could see herself in a hospital bed. So that's one uh, example. And then she's not a person to lie. And uh, I, I don't think she's crazy anyway. So, so I, I've heard of other people, stories. Um, I've read other out-of-body experiences as well. Um, that they've seen a, the light at the end of the tunnel, stuff like that. Um, so yes, I will say, yeah. Um, I don't know anyone who's actually experienced one, um, but like I've, I have seen it on like TV before and I know a lot of people who are quite religious as well. Like, like whenever they've kind of like died, uh, and then they, they they've said stuff kind of like how like they've like seen God and like they've talked to God and then, um, uh, I remember, yeah, it was kind of, this was kind of like the, the news story or something along those lines. And then they had like a conversation with him about whether to return back to life or just stay with God sort of thing. It was, I think that's how it went anyway, but um, I'm not too sure how much I believe it myself, but with the amount of people uh, who've said that they've experienced it, I, I can respect it, so. Um, I've not had one. Um, I don't necessarily believe or not believe that one. Um, I could see how it could happen or how people could believe it's happened. The brains are so complex and amazing that I feel like it's not other realms for something to go on in our head to make us feel like, yeah, that really happened. I actually have experienced it myself. Um, I had a, a sort of a, a weird sort of scenario a few years back where I was having a lot of sleep paralysis. Um, which a lot of people, again, in certain countries, they believe that it's a link to the spirit world um, and that people who go through sleep paralysis are actually opening up their sort of third eye to that realm. Um, and I had a sort of a, a bout of sleep paralysis that lasted for a little while. That sort of stopped. And then um, sort of a few months later, I was going through sort of like a, a very weird scenario. And even now, I can't really explain it to people as to how surreal it felt but i would actually sort of leave my own body and sort of fly out from myself looking down at myself and then flying basically through a physical house through the roof out of the house um to like a 
sort of a, a bird level, if you will, and then went even higher than that, like into space and things like that. And it was it was such a surreal thing. Like I didn't didn't quite know how to understand it at the time, um, but I sort of talked to people who had had similar experiences, and they all sort of had similar correlations of this looking down at your physical body. And it was exactly me, like the clothes I was wearing when I went to bed. Um, everything was spot on. Um, and then having that feeling of coming back into my body and then waking up and having a realization that, you know, somehow, whether or not it actually happened, um, it happened to me. And yeah, it was a very strange experience. Out of body experiences. I don't know. I have weird dreams, but I wouldn't say it was an out of body experience. Oh, that was from like lots of walk all in tiredness. <laughs> so no, I don't think so. It's a, it's a thing. Again, I think people can believe that it happens to them, but I don't think that it actually is happening to them. Um, I'd say, yeah, people can hallucinate, people can imagine something's happening to them, but I don't think that's actually the case. Um, I've never heard anyone talk about it, or like, I've never had one myself. Um, but I feel like it could possibly be correct, yeah, I feel like it could definitely have one. Um, I mean, I've taken psychedelics before and I've had something similar to an out of body experience on that. So, uh, I can believe people have, have had the sensation of one, but you know, the idea of that being something, um, more than the physical universe and more than just a trick of the brain. Um, uh, I don't know, but yeah, I've known a few people who've said they've had them. Uh, yes, I have, uh, it was drug related. I'd uh, taken something I shouldn't. Um, I went six feet above my head. And this voice came, I was like, you've done it now, Chris, you've killed yourself. People told you you killed yourself with drugs and you didn't believe them. And now here you are. And this voice went above my head, went, ha, 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 fair play. And then just sent me back down to earth. Um, I haven't had outer body experiences. I think, um, I think one of the ways that we can sometimes cope with like, traumatic instance. I think when I was there, 12, I got hit by a, a bus. And I think when I think back to that event, I think about it as looking from the outside in, like not my eyes, but looking at the event from afar. So I, I can understand why people would have that experience, especially in like a traumatic event. Yeah. Yeah, it was my friend's dad had a heart attack. Um, got into hospital, was announced clinically dead. It was completely flatlined uh, for about five seconds, then came back. When he had like full consciousness, he says like he met his family, his mum came up to him, um, pushed him on his chest and said, it's not your time. And that's when his heart started again. Um, I don't. I mean, maybe when I was younger, I probably would have been like, oh my gosh, I totally believe that because uh, having late nights, drinking too much, um, that kind of thing. There's been plenty of dreams where I've been like, oh my gosh, that was an out of body experience. But now I'm older and uh, <laughs> more rested. I think that they are just strange dreams. So when I was younger, I didn't think so actually, but I don't know if it's out of body once, but I definitely once had sleep paralysis where I was asleep, but I was very much aware of the fact that I was asleep. I couldn't move. I was terrified and I couldn't help but feel something in the room, something creeping towards me. And I could feel it creeping towards me. And then when it did get to me, all of a sudden I could see myself. And the thing that had been coming towards me was actually me. And that's eventually when I did wake up. It freaked me the fuck out, basically. I think people probably believe they've had out of body experiences um because the mind can do loads of crazy things uh so yes i believe that people believe it <laughs> Ooh, um it's complicated um i would say maybe uh i feel like because i've nearly died once before um i did feel like i was outside of my body at one point but i felt like it might have been my brain playing tricks on me i don't believe them now and I haven't came across anyone that really has been across him nor myself, so not really. I, no, I don't believe in that. I believe you can have psychological experiences uh, of things like hallucinations, delusions, such as that could occur due to uh, drugs spiking, uh, 
very high levels of stress and pressure, which your mind's not able to cope with. Things like sleep paralysis occur. Um, and then without awareness of such things, you could believe whatever it is you saw, uh, your mind led you to believe, but I, I think it all comes down to like a psychology and a psycho psychological issue, which you could look at objectively. Yes, I, I do believe in it. I've actually experienced one myself. Uh, I clinically died. I drowned when I was younger. Um, and as they were resuscitating me on the beach, you get this kind of slightly elevated perspective of things. And like, you could, I could see and remember how many people were around me on the beach. And, and then when, obviously, they, it starts to work, you just kind of get drawn back in again and then you wake up. So, yeah, I do, I do believe it. Personally, no. But again, I'm not going to, like discount anybody's stories about it. I do believe, yes, because when I was in Lanzarote on holiday, um, I was in bed and then I woke up outside of the hotel room on the floor, sitting on the floor. I don't know how I got there. Interesting question. Um, you hear stories of people who die and then are brought back on the operating table when they've had accidents, that sort of thing. Um, I would say, I wouldn't say out-of-body experiences necessarily exist, but I would say people have died and then maybe come back. Again, maybe it's something that they feel they've experienced whilst going through such a trauma. Who knows? But for me personally, I would say, no, not really. And again, over glamorized by Hollywood, potentially. Out-of-body experiences. Um... Do I know anybody that's had an out-of-body experience? I have never. My girlfriend has out-of-body experiences. They're not actually out-of-body. It's more like an inner-body experience, like every other Wednesday. Actually, it's not really much of an experience either. Um, that's on me, though. I do a good job. I don't. It's abysmal. So I haven't necessarily had an out of body in the traditional sense that you know i'm floating around or whatever people think of i don't know anyone that has but i've had something similar i had a reoccurring dream i get like this weird sixth sense when i'm in a place i don't like um an old house i used to live in i had a reoccurring nightmare and i could see myself sleeping in this house and there was like some creepy figures around me and it kept happening for a long time we left early out that house for the record but yeah that was not fun and i don't want to experience that again <laughs> Uh, I haven't had one personally, I don't think, <laughs> but um, yeah, I've heard of those and heard from friends and stuff, and I think there's definitely um, a chance of that happening, definitely. I do believe them. I feel like it's like a subjective thing. If someone's like on drugs and they say they had this experience, then yeah, I think I'd, I'd believe it. I don't believe it's true, though, in that sense. Yes. Um, but just yes. <laughs> no, I've never had one. But I, I, I do believe, I, I believe it could exist. You could either be complete batshit crazy, granted, but, you know, could, could happen. Quite open to the idea, yeah. I don't think I've ever had an out-of-body experience, but again, it depends how open-minded someone is. Some may believe it more than others. Others don't believe in it at all. Um, I, me or no, or anyone that I know hasn't had one, or not that I know of anyway. But I have seen like um, videos of people like explaining that uh, that it was like I think it was like when they were having a panic attack. They 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 mentioned like seeing themselves like from a third person view, and. Um, Again, I think there is like a psychological explanation for that, but at the same time, I do, um, I do, it does feel a bit spiritual in a way, and I do kind of, so I, I almost feel like a mix of just science and spirituality in that sense. My mum did have one. So she was um, very, very ill. She was in a coma for like three weeks, and she had to be resuscitated twice. And then on one of the times, she said that when she did get resuscitated, she had a moment where she was like, looking over her body um but i think that's obviously quite like a common thing that a lot of people who have had that kind of situation happen to say so i don't know if it's just like a you know chemicals in the brain all going off at the same time kind of thing or if it's actually an upward experience obviously that sounds cooler but it's interesting to think about 
I'm not sure. Um, my neighbour said she had one where she was floating above herself looking down. Um, I've had things where people's faces have changed. So um, when I was about 13, I was with a friend. Um, so he had like a young face and then he merged into like an old face. Um, and that was terrifying. And I feel like it wasn't out of body, but certainly what I saw, and it's happened a few times since, that I don't know if it's kind of your mind playing tricks on you or kind of seeing, you know, when well, you watch a film and then you see the backstage, it's almost like, I feel like the backstage is always going on, but you can't see it. And then occasionally it slips through, almost like the whole, you know, glitch in the matrix argument. Um, yeah. I believe them in the context that people genuinely believe they experience that, whether that's come through a physical reasoning or a spiritual reason, I couldn't say, but I honestly think they felt they experienced it. No, nobody, I, I'm not sure whether I believe that or not. Um, I, I can't really give you a full answer on that one. And I don't know anybody who's had an out of body experience. Uh, I don't believe in them, but my mum always told me that my grandmother had one. She came in and she saw like her husband there after he'd been dead for like 10 years. And then she kind of felt her soul kind of leave. And I was like, yes. do you know what I mean? I, I'm not, I'm an atheist, so I'm kind of just science. I believe people may feel that they have. I think when you are under intense stress or in extreme physical pain, your brain can do crazy things. I think people who have been pumped full of morphine and are being cut open probably do feel like they are looking at themselves from above. But I just think that's probably a mix of the pain medication and your brain not being able to deal with the pain that you're in. I believe, I, f I feel like it's probably a possibility when you're just about to die because I do believe that everyone has a soul. So I think in that sense, in the outer body experience of you kind of going to an afterlife, but haven't really, I don't know anyone um, that has had an experience like that. But. Um, I partially agree with them, but I've never had one. But yeah, like I said before, I think some people have, but I find it hard to believe them. I've never had one, but I do believe that the people that have had them believe that they're real and have experienced them. And I do think there's a lot that can't be explained that goes with outer body experiences. So I would say, yes, I do believe in them. I believe in them. I don't know anyone who has had them, but I watched that Netflix documentary about them. I think it's very plausible. Yeah. Um, no one has been foolish enough to tell me they have them because I wouldn't believe them because I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't know any anybody and no I've never had um but again I think it's very much like a psychological thing so I wouldn't really believe that that would happen I think it's more something that's going on in your brain I've had one yeah I've had an out-of-body experience I've experienced an out-of-body experience who knows if it was an out-of-body experience or not but yeah I remember running from um, from the sitting room into the kitchen and um, my mum had one of those glass doorknobs and light was passing through it and there were little rainbows everywhere and um, I remember seeing myself from above and my hair like uh, flowing out either side as I looked at these like little rainbow fairies everywhere but I could have been tripping who knows I was three years old they could have dropped me a bit of laced a bit of acid in whatever who knows? Could have been tripping. <laughs> so I don't really 100% understand what an out-of-body experience is. Is it like when you are asleep and then you can see your body? So I've never had that. Um, do I know anyone? Probably not. Um, would I want one? Probably not. <laughs> I have never had one personally. I don't think I know that if anyone's had one, but I think if, um, say you're in like hospital and you're like on a lot of medication or something like that, that could potentially be an out of body experience, but I don't think it just happens normally without a lot of drugs. Um, I know some people who said that they had an out of body experiences, but they were really high. No.
So there you have it. Some believe out-of-body experiences are nothing more than a psychological problem. Some think they're hallucinations. Some think they are related to dreams. And others believe consciousness really can leave the physical body. The big question is, have you ever had an out-of-body experience? If so, how do you explain it?